everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making fall pillowcases using HTV and my Easy Press. I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you would like to support me and receive perks as well, check out my Patreon account which is linked in the description box below. So I'm going to upload our two images that we're going to be using. So I'll go upload images and browse my computer. Let's see, choose this one. Just going to hit save and then I'll upload the other one. So these images are available for patrons. I have started up a Patreon account, as some of you probably um, know, but this is a way to support my channel, but I wanted to also have perks for patrons. All of these on this top row are all hand-drawn SVGs that are available for patrons. You can use these for personal use, and you can use these commercially to sell your items. So if you want to find out more information, you can click on the link down below in the description box. I have two different tiers available so you can check that out. I'm going to click on both of these and I'll insert these images into Cricut Design Space. So I'm just going to size these for my pillows. This one I am going to make it nine and a half inches. The easiest way for me to decide what size to make an image is I take a ruler or a measuring tape and I measure whatever I'm using and usually that works pretty well. I feel like when I first started with Cricut I had troubles deciding on what size to do but I like to just take a measuring tape and measure my area and that helps a lot. So this one is going to be nine and a half inches for the width and this one I'm going to do nine and a half inches for the height. The next thing I want to do for this image it's just going to be black but I want to attach all of these. You can see on the layers panel that there is a lot of layers here. We want to attach these layers. You can see it says attach at the top so this one will be ready. Oops. For my Hello Pumpkin I am going to be using Buffalo plaid HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl for the pumpkin. So I want to separate this from the Hello Pumpkin. So what I am going to do is click ungroup. Then the pumpkin, each piece is on a different layer. So I'm just going to hit control on my keyboard and select all of the pieces of the pumpkin. So you can see I have all of these selected. Next, I'm just going to hit attach. Next I want to have Hello Pumpkin all attached, so I'm just going to drag over these. This is my easiest way to select all of these layers. Then I'll hit Attach again. And this pumpkin, since we want to do it with a different type of vinyl, we'll want to make it a different color, otherwise it will put all of this on the same mat. Since it's not going to be a solid color, we don't have a buffalo check pattern here, but I will just change it to a different color. That way it will put it on a different mat for me. Now we're ready to click make it. For the pumpkin, I'm going to be using printed pattern HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl. And with HTV or iron-on, you pretty much always mirror your image. But with this type of material, you actually do not, which is very unique. I'll talk a little bit more about this as I'm applying the HTV. But the next two images we are going to mirror because I'm using Caesar Easy Bead. And with this type of HTV, you do want to mirror it like you always do. Next, I'll hit continue. I'm going to browse all material. And I'm actually going to try typing heat transfer vinyl. And this is non cricut so I'm going to select this. And now I'll show you on my machine how I cut this out. Here's the white buffalo plaid HTV that I'm using. I bought this 12 by 12 sheet off of 651vinyl.com. This HTV works differently than normal HTV. It does not have a carrier sheet attached to it. Another difference with this is you'll put the pattern face up on your mat. Usually with HTV, you'll put it shiny side down, but with this you want the pattern facing up.
You can take your weeding tool and weed your vinyl like you normally do. I had troubles getting this off the mat because the machine cut all the way through it, as you can see. It should easily come off the mat like other iron-on vinyl, but with it cutting all the way through, it made it difficult. I needed a different setting on my Cricut Maker. I just got the Cricut Maker, and I'm trying to figure out what settings I want to use. So I should have used just the regular iron-on setting instead. I decided to just start weeding it on the mat and cut away the rest of the vinyl. I am taking off this backing. The backing would normally stay on there with the vinyl, but this is what the Cricut cut all the way through. Along with buying the pattern vinyl, you have the option to buy heat transfer mask with your order. This is what I'm using. It is basically your carrier sheet. You'll need to use this to pull your vinyl onto this transfer mask. If you have an old HTV carrier sheet, that might work, but I have not tried that. I'll leave a link below for this vinyl. When you click on that, if you're interested in buying it, it gives all the information that you need to know. I place the transfer mask over the HTV and scrape it down really good. Then I start pulling it up. It should pick the HTV up with it. If it doesn't, try burnishing it really good again. You can see on the mat that there's this backing that it cut all the way through. But this HTV came up so easily onto this heat transfer mask. Next, I cut out my other two images. I'm using Black Caesar Easy Weed, also from 651vinyl.com. Then I weed out my excess vinyl. First, I'm going to apply the Black Caesar Easy Weed. I'm going to go off of the Cricut settings using the Everyday Iron-On and Cotton Poly Blend. It recommends to set it at 315 for 30 seconds. I set my pillowcase on my mat. I bought these off of Amazon and I'll link them down below. I run my Easy Press over the pillowcase to get out any of the moisture and to help smooth out the wrinkles. I place the vinyl on the pillowcase, then put a Teflon sheet over this. This helps protect against the pillowcase. You can also use parchment paper as well. My Easy Press isn't quite big enough to cover the whole image, so I do it in two separate parts. I start peeling up the carrier sheet. I recommend going really slow to make sure it fully adhered. You can see here it started to pick up the vinyl a little bit, so thankfully I was able to fix it without messing it up too bad. I did another full press on each side again. That time it worked, then I started on the next pillowcase and I used the same process for this one. I start the same process with the second pillow. I start with the top part first, but I line up my pumpkin to see where I want that to go. I measure to make sure it's in the center, then start my easy press. Mm -hmm. 
This time when I took the carrier sheet off, I went really slow. It didn't pick up any of the vinyl, but I decided to press it one more time to make sure it was adhered really well. Next, I add my pumpkin. I cut the top of the transfer mask. If I have this over the vinyl, I sometimes have trouble with a little line showing up on the vinyl that's underneath it. The settings for the pattern HTV on 651vinyl.com are for a heat press. If you use a heat press, he recommends to set it to 285 for 15 seconds, but I'm using my Cricut Easy Press, so I'm just going to try the setting for the everyday iron on. I pressed this one twice as well. After that, it came up really easily, but I decided to press it just one more time. You can usually tell if it was pressed well when you can see the fibers of the material through the vinyl. I really love the quality of this pattern HTV. Here's how the pillows turn out. These are so fun. Apparently, I'm into the white buffalo check for the fall this year. My last video that I did, I made a doormat and I put the white buffalo check rug underneath it. Let me know if you guys are liking that as well for the fall. Don't forget to check out my Patreon account. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a great day.